It's now the 10th week since we've been in lockdown and it seems an appropriate time for me to record a message for everyone to reflect and to think about some of the things that have been happening and the things that we've been experiencing these last few weeks. And of course, for many people, this has been an extremely difficult time. Uh, for those who are lonely, for those who are isolated, it's been quite a painful time. Uh, and then, of course, there are those who have been ill or whose family have been seriously ill. Uh, and indeed, there are those who've had the, the pain and the difficulty of, of grief and even bereavement. Uh, and for them, this has been an extraordinarily painful time. But also, as we look around, I'm very grateful for those who have written to me and encouraged me. Uh, and I'm sure you've been encouraged by others as well. Those who've sent me a card or an email assuring me of their prayers for me and for the diocese as we seek to share God's love with our communities and as we seek to serve and to care for those who are particularly vulnerable or in need at this time. I think the shock of the last few days of seeing what has happened in America, uh, the impact of police brutality, the death of George Floyd uh, and that reminder of just how corrosive and how appalling racism is in our world today have once again shocked and horrified us. And yet there are things that have been very encouraging. We've seen churches and communities reaching out to those who are lonely uh, and those particularly in need. Uh, we've seen many volunteers uh, doing uh, extraordinary acts of generosity uh, and doing it humbly uh, and quietly, uh, but bringing benefit to others. And we've seen people reaching out uh, in all sorts of different ways, uh, serving not only in the health service and our care workers, but our delivery drivers, our supermarkets, uh, our key workers. And there's been a deeper and richer appreciation of all that's going on in society today. There are very real concerns for our global economy. Uh, there are concerns for rising unemployment uh, in this country and across the world. And the impact of the virus is going to be with us for months uh, and indeed for years to come. But on today, which is World Environment Day, it's good to look out at our world and see the impact of uh, less consumption of carbon fuels, uh, a quieter uh, and a, a softer way of working. Uh, and we've seen the benefit to the whole world in slowing things down and uh, thinking more about conserving our world and protecting it and stewarding it for the generations that are to come. We've learned too about the importance of being still and being patient, looking after our own well-being and concerns for the mental health uh, that we feel and others feel at this time. And I'm particularly grateful for seeing and hearing the stories of the way that God has been working in the lives of people, in individuals and through our churches. Uh, yes, of course, uh, the church buildings have been locked and shut, uh, but there are in many places where the church has not been as active as this uh, for many years. And particularly for me, there's one verse that's growing in importance as these weeks pass by, and it comes from Psalm 34. It says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and the Lord saves those who are crushed in spirit. In the midst of all that's happening, we can rejoice in God's faithful love, his care to us in Jesus, the gift of his Holy Spirit, and his presence with us now and always. May the Lord truly be with you. May you know Lord's, the Lord's blessing, you and your family, those you pray for, now and always. Amen.